Hello and welcome back to the Fireburns Within channel. The first proper video of 2024. It's about time I recorded it. Half of January is quickly gone. There's not been a whole bunch of releases. But there's a few good ones to come. Anyway, I've managed to listen to four albums in full that I've sort of liked enough to listen in full. Um, some of the other things I've sampled, I didn't, I sampled and didn't want to listen all the way through because I know it's not going to really be my cup of tea. But these four albums, I gave them a shot. They were good. So there's some good ones amongst them. And some couple of average ones, but it, it, I'll just go through them anyway. First one is Fifth Note. Here we are. Fifth Note are from India, from a place called Nagaland from India. Wow. This is a weird one. Um, the music is sort of heavy AOR or heavy progressive. Sometimes it goes into prog metal almost, which is quite interesting um the deal breaker here is gonna be the singer his voice is is tough going it's hard going it's sort of high pitched and whiny sounding and i don't know i can get used to him because the music is really solid the songs are just good but the, the the instrumentation is very good but um the singer it's going to be problematic, uh, but I gave the album a 7 out of 10. I thought it was a a good effort. Next one is Scanner, The Cosmic Race. Old German power metal band from way back. They come back after a long time. The album is... It's okay. It's not wowing me in any way. It's... I don't know. It's just... It's okay, it's sort of like a sci-fi concept thing going on. They've always had this sort of sci-fi thing, uh, Scanner. I'm I mean, I must admit, I've, I was never a huge fan of their early stuff. I know they've sort of got a bit of a cult following, but Scanner, the album is okay. It's it's okay, but it's, it's not one I feel the urge to replay, so... Just an, a 7 out of 10 for a reasonable effort. Good effort. Next one is the Grandmaster Black Sun. It's a Frontiers project. They used to have a Brazilian chap on vocals, Nando. And now they've swapped him for Per Johansson from Fate. The real powerhouse singer. This guy has got some... He's got some grit in his voice. I loved his album with Fate, the V album from way back now. 2005, 6, something like that. Long time ago now. I love that album. And he's back singing with the Grandmaster, this sort of manufactured band, if you like. Members of Ed Guy, I think, and some other uh, guys. The album is solid. It's solid. It's heavy. It's melodic power metal. It's got powerhouse vocals from Pear Johansson. The songs are good, pretty good, not amazing. Solid power metal songs. It's good, but it's not amazing. It's just not amazing. Um, I give it a 7.5 out of 10. Possibly an 8, possibly an 8 with a few more plays, but settling for 7.5. And the last one is Exit Eden, Farm Fatal. I, I really like this. I mean, this is the project with uh, all f an all-female cast. Two of the girls I'm not that familiar with, uh, Clementine or Clemmy. Delaney, she I'm very familiar with. She's from Visions of Atlantis. Um, this album is sort of half covers and half originals. If it was all originals, uh, this would be getting close to a nine. This is awesome, but 
the covers are well done but they don't have that replay value like once you've heard the cover once why would i really want to hear it again i mean they're quite good covers they do them in the symphonic power metal style with the three voices i mean i quite like the covers i'm not saying they're bad but the songs they've chosen are fairly standard and they've been done a lot as covers. They're good, but their original songs are excellent. Very, very good. Melodic, catchy, symphonic, epic. Their voices blend well. Very good indeed. If only it was a full album of originals, then this would be getting a nine. But I have to take off a full point. It goes down to an eight. It's still a good album, but not as great as it could have been if it was all originals. So those are the only four albums I've listened to in full in the first half of January. Second half of Jan, well, 19th is looking a bit promising. You've got the mighty Saxon. Excuse me. Then you've got Metalite with their dancey, trancey, poppy metal like Amaranth. Then you've got a band that um, I don't think too many people will have heard of. They're South of Salem. But I've heard the singles and the singles rock. It's just modern, melodic, heavy metal slash rock. Very enjoyable. 26th Jan, you got Blood Red Throne. It's sort of thrashy death metal. Manticora is sort of like Blind Guardian-ish. Cognizance is UK. Ultra technical death metal. That's the kind that I like. And then there's Mega Colossus. I can't remember where these guys are from, but the single I heard is awesome. It's melodic heavy metal, traditional heavy metal. Very awesome. So those are the ones that I've noted in the second half of January. But um, I think there might be a couple more turn up as well. But those are the main ones. So that's it for this video. All right.